So for question one, we need to solve this problem over here using a representation, which is basically like a model. Although I think you need that. But if you did, it's basically like a model. Anyways, um, first you need a rectangle. And since it's I just, well, I think it's going to be easier to divide this 6 going this way and 5 going this way. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start with this. My part not, might, might not be very even or even even at all. Okay, so I need three fifths of this, or three of these. So here are the three, and the others, these, these two are empty. Now I need to draw this part, which is going to go in the opposite direction, otherwise this is going to get very confusing. And I don't think it works if you do it in the same direction. Anyways. Okay, so one sixth is this whole line. It's not going to be like one of these squares. So we need five sixths. So I'm doing it a different color in the opposite direction because. Otherwise, this is going to get very confusing. There's a lot of ways that this could actually get confusing. But um, now I'm getting off topic, so. Now we need to count how many squares there are in total. There's one, two, oh, I already know, but there's going to be six down this side and five down this side. So five times six is 30. And now we need to count how many squares there are where basically this happens. Where the two colors intersect, which is this little square down here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. So 5 times 3, which is 15. 15 and 30 can be reduced, simplified or reduced to 1 half. So the answer is 1 half. And that's about it. Bye, I guess.